In the spring of 2004, I was experiencing some pain. Went to my primary doctor and she thought it might have been uh, colitis. So after a couple days of being on a prescription for that, I realized uh, something was really wrong. My primary and I decided that a colonoscopy would be the best option. I told her that I currently didn't have coverage and um, she presented me with a voucher for Portland Grover. And I was a small business owner and going through a divorce, trying to figure out insurance for the family or for my business, because this was about the time uh, they were implementing that everyone had to provide health insurance. When I came out of my colonoscopy, they said, we're sending it off to the lab, but it's definitely not good. Went to several area hospitals, and then decided to um, go up to Johns Hopkins University where I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer with METs to the liver and bladder. So today I am three and a half years um, NED, which is no evidence, you know, detected. My younger one was so young when I was diagnosed, you know, three and a half, four, you know, he, he used to say the bug in my stomach. Um, but since then, he's eight, so I think he understands the severity. And one of the things I'm really trying to impress upon my kids is, um, you know, that nothing's guaranteed and to make the most out of every day. When I was going through, people would ask me, uh, how was I smiling so much? And I would just say it's, it's uh, mind over matter. Portland Groover definitely helped me, you know, in my biggest time of need in my life. Um, if I was able to um, sit across from the folks who made the voucher possible and who, who were a part of the, you know, the team to help me get through this, uh, Words can't express how grateful I am. It was the fall of 2013, and I had been experiencing uh, some bleeding. It had actually for, for a period of time, but I thought I had an ulcer. So I went to my uh, primary care physician. She told me that she thought I had hemorrhoids, and so that I, sh I should probably schedule a colonoscopy, an endoscopy. Uh, just to be safe. And so I said I would, and I did, but I wound up canceling it twice. About March of 2014, I received a, a call from a friend that a mutual friend of ours from high school was dying of colon cancer, and she passed pretty quickly. Uh, so I wound up rescheduling my appointment with Borland Groover, and uh, in May of 2014, I was diagnosed the day before my 51st birthday. Our team has participated in the March Against Screen for uh, three years. In 2019 will be our fourth year. We've had up to 100 uh, friends and family participate. This group, my wife, Nora, and my two friends, Patty and Mary Kay, that are our captains of our team, we, they're just relentless in getting the word out, and I think that's why our team has grown. Through a Facebook group, come in contact with a lady in San Diego, and she had had a team in San Diego called Team Turtles, and I liked her logo, and her, her name's Dawn, and she was diagnosed at 35, I believe, with colon cancer, stage four, and she's still here today. So she's someone that I admire, and I asked her, can we use that logo? And she said, certainly. People joke about it, but it's great when you're standing in line at, at the checkout counter and people are chuckling behind you because they're reading your shirt, and you get to talk to them about, hey, have you been screened? My mission and, and part of the reason why I'm here is to help spread the word that it, it's important to get screened. Uh, you don't want to have to deliver that message to your family. So if you can, um, sorry, get emotional. If, uh, it, just take the time to, to get screened. I just think back to that moment, you just do not want to have to deliver that message. So if, if taking four hours, hours out of your day to get screened, we can save the lives of ourselves or, or our friends and family.